The Indonesian Navy is preparing to procure the Turkish Atmika anti-ship missile. A total of 41 warships are planned to be integrated with the Turkish Roketsan Atmika anti-ship missile. Roketsan and the Indonesian Ministry of Defense signed a procurement contract for the Atmika anti-ship missile in November 2022. The Indonesian Navy will carry out the integration of the Atmika anti-ship missile to 41 different naval platforms. The platforms include, Fatahila class corvettes, FPB, 57 class patrol boats and Parkim class corvettes. If the plans come to life, the Indonesian Navy will be one of the most intensive users of the Atmika anti-ship missile along with the Turkish Navy. On the other hand, Roketsan continues to deliver Atmika missiles to the Turkish Navy. After Atmika's first test firing with the national engine KTJ-3200, the production activities are expected to accelerate. Recently, the Defense Industry Executive Committee decided on additional missile production and the relevant contract was signed. The Atmika Guided Missile Project was initiated in 2009 to meet the anti-ship missile needs of the Turkish Naval Forces Command with local and national means. Within this scope, the Atmika anti-ship missile with active radar seeker head, which was developed by Roketsan as the main contractor, was fired for the first time from the TCG Canaliata Corvette in November 2019, after comprehensive test activities. During this test firing, Atmika successfully hit the fixed target on the sea surface. The Atmika missile was fired again from the Canaliata Corvette on June 18, 2021, during another test, and hit a real ship target for the first time. The target ship sank after being hit by the Atmika missile. The missile has entered the inventory of the Turkish Naval Forces Command. Anti-ship missiles are missiles designed to target and destroy ships at sea. Anti-ship missiles play a major role in naval warfare and maritime trade. In this speech, I will discuss the importance of anti-ship missiles from three aspects, military, economic, and strategic. From a military perspective, anti-ship missiles increase the power and effectiveness of naval forces. Anti-ship missiles are weapons that can perform long-range and high-precision attacks against enemy ships that can be launched from air, land, or sea platforms that have advanced guidance systems and can overcome defense systems. Anti-ship missiles can be used against various targets such as warships, aircraft carriers, submarines, amphibious vehicles, and coastal defense systems. Anti-ship missiles enhance the deterrence, protection, attack, and defense capabilities of naval forces. From an economic perspective, anti-ship missiles affect the security and flow of maritime trade. Maritime trade is an important part of the world economy. About 90% of world trade is carried out by C1. Maritime trade enables the transportation of various products such as oil, natural gas, minerals, food, industrial materials, and consumer goods. Anti-ship missiles are weapons that threaten maritime trade. Anti-ship missiles can hit commercial ships, causing both material loss and human life damage. Moreover, anti-ship missiles can be used to close critical points of maritime trade, such as the Bab el Mandeb Strait, the Suez Canal, the Strait of Hormuz, the Malacca Strait, etc. This situation can lead to the disruption of maritime trade, the search for alternative routes, the increase of transportation costs and global economic crises. From a strategic perspective, anti-ship missiles affect international relations and power balance. Anti-ship missiles are weapons that can change the power balance at sea. Anti-ship missiles can cause the major powers that want to maintain their dominance at sea, such as the US, China, Russia, Britain, France, etc., to enter an arms race. 